What's going on guys? It is 5.51 a.m. I just closed my position on DGAS. It began to aggressively sell off. I took a position on DGAS because when natural gas sells off, DGAS pushes up and um, probably one of the quickest $1,000 I've ever made. Um, so good start to the morning. Um, natural gas is still selling off, but um, I have to get ready for my Learn Plan Profit live stream. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's a super cliche of like, oh, getting out of bed and all that stuff. It's, uh, yeah, well, um, time for me to take a shower. So, here we go. <laughs> just posted the link for the learn plan profit morning live chat so it is 6 16 a.m um, i just shared it in the morning live chat section for the learn plan profit group so today is 5 3 2019 um it's pretty much a normal morning what i was explaining was the more natural gas sells off the more that d gas pushes up i ended up selling d gas so the really cool thing that's happening right now is actually you guys is pushing up and i bought the dip on you guys so now i'm up 185 dollars on ticker symbol you guys and i'm up 1193 dollars overall on the day so far so this is normally how it goes it pushes up slowly i add more to my position size i saw how aggressive natural gas was selling off so i bought the reversal right so i bought the reversal of d gas and then when it got to the price point of around 122 i let i set my uh, limit order to sell and it actually filled uh 20 cents above that because it was moving so quickly it ended up pushing up another like two dollars so i would have made probably another thousand dollars on top of the thousand dollars i made if it would have held it but again if and only if and right and you never really know so it became super overextended you could see with the rsi you could see with the macd and you could see based off of yesterday's patterns so I saw that natural gas was finding a support. It was consolidating, no longer selling off, and now it's beginning to push up. So now what I'm simply going to be doing is going back to you guys. Now that we have somewhat of a confirmation, I'm up $215 with 1,500 shares. I'm gonna buy 1,000 more shares of ticker symbol you guys. And I can see the ask in the bid right here. I definitely wanna get closer to the bid. So I'm gonna go right there, set my limo order. You can see it right there. Um, and we'll see how it goes. So it keeps pushing up feeling comfortable with that trade. As long as this thing pushes up, it's most likely gonna get rejected on that middle VWAP. Um, it's a descending pattern, so I have to make sure with descending patterns that I lock in profits quickly and keep a close eye on the MACD and the RSI. So it's been a fun morning. It's 6, 18 a.m. I go live in about 12 minutes. Um, just like I always do at Market Open. All right, it's time to go live. What's going on, everyone? It's Ricky with Fun Plan Profit. Yes, Rob, have a good start. So what's going on right here is again, natural gas is selling off. They had a really strong push up, which meant that you gas went up. I locked in profits way too early on you gas. So what's new? Uh, it pushed up, became super overextended. Look at the RSI, look at the MACD. Those are two indicators that you can use that to have a better understanding that they're overextended. It's a descending pattern. So it's making lower lows and lower highs. So it made sense, not just with the indicators, but also with the overall direction of, you know, natural gas as of right now, it's selling off. So it makes sense on why it would get rejected around this area. We waited for the confirmation, we waited for lower lows, and the more that natural gas sells off, uh, the more money that we'll make on ticker symbol D gas. 
So one of the things that I want to point out is again, we talked about the descending pattern. Right now we had a lot of consolidation around this general area, which is right around 2.56 and 2.57. Um, and I know that might not mean a lot, but again, it had a lot of consolidation here as it was selling off. So it makes sense on why it has a pretty strong support around this general area as well. So I'm waiting for this thing to either break below the two point, it's 2.55 or to break above 2.57, uh, which will give me a better understanding of, you know, is natural gas really gonna begin to push up or is it actually just gonna continue to sell off just like it did. So there, sold all my shares, $2,195. I don't know if you guys can see that, that's really small. Let me move it out. So I have added another order to buy, but I just canceled that. There we go, $2,195. And here we go, uh, $2,225.05 overall on the day, and that's both on UGAS and DGAS. So, um, I think I'm done trading for the day. Um, it's 8.13 uh, a.m. I'm pretty hungry. Um, we're getting a lot of consolidation and at this area, let me explain to you guys why. Based off of yesterday's patterns, this general area, so why is this such a, why was it struggling so much to break below this? This is where it consolidated. This is yesterday support. So yesterday as in Thursday, this is where it bounced at. So the more it bounces at a specific support, the stronger it becomes. And as you guys can see, it was selling off. It did a lot of consolidation in this area. And yes, it did break below it, but again, it doesn't mean that it has to continue to break below that. So I'm just going to announce uh, to the Lug Plant Profit Group that I just sold, just sold DGAS, done for the day. Um, one of the things that I've noticed, and again, um, so we have someone, uh, <laughs> there we go. Uh, someone just locked in profits as well. So um, one of the things that I've noticed is that if I continue to train myself, um, or if I just continue to trade throughout the day, um, I choose to take advantage of opportunities that are like less really worth it. Um, and it's like over trading, right? So I'm really happy with the profits that I've made, with the trades that I've taken. It's made a lot of sense. I made one mistake on natural gas or on you gas getting in way too early on that one and I paid the price on that. I could have been up, you know, 3,000, 3,500 around there. Uh, but ultimately I can't change the past. I was able to recover from that. And now I am pretty much done trading for the day. It's an amazing Friday for me. It's one of my most successful weeks trading and I've had a lot of fun. So yes, the thing can continue to sell off and yes, I missed out on more profit, but, um, Again, if I always try to think about it this way, then think about all the properties or all the investments within my area that I'm missing out on. It's like, yeah, it sucks, but um, you know, you can't control those series of factors. You buy when you think it's a good deal and you sell when you think it's you know a good price to sell. Um, and as long as you have a reason behind everything that you do, that's what I think is most important. So I had a lot of fun training with that. I'm gonna update all my social media accounts with uh, my overall profits on the day. Um, and then I'm gonna get started with um, uh, the series of work that I have to do after this. So hope you guys enjoy. All right guys, I just spent the last 45 minutes catching up on messages on Discord and on Instagram. Um, now I'm gonna catch up um, and update everyone on my Instagram story. So I know this is like super dorky, but I was gonna update them on my profits and uh, wish them all an amazing weekend. So uh, let's go ahead and do this thing. All right. $2,100 profit on ticker symbol DGAS and on UGAS, we were able to lock in $30. All together on the day, $2,025. Guys, I don't know what you're doing this weekend, but if you guys want to learn how to trade and watch me trade live every single day, why not learn this weekend? Swipe up. All right, that's pretty much it. We'll probably go get food, wake everyone up. I don't know if anyone's awake right now, so I think we should go probably check that out, right? We should have Justin. Justin should be up, but he's probably in this room. Here, one, two, three buckets. All right, so let's go ahead and wake them up and see what they're doing. What's going on, home skillet? So <laughs> What's going on, bull? You good? <laughs> the whole team should be here around 9.30. We have a really big day when it comes down to filming because we're working on a really big video. Um, so that's pretty much gonna be our main focus today. And then it's Friday. So, um, you know, we're of age, we might end up going out, but probably am not gonna film that because, yeah, yeah, okay. There we go. 
gonna post the public new video stock reversals for beginners just uploaded so I uh, talked about very important best practices um, it's 9 11 I still haven't had anything to eat I haven't even touched my pop top because we've been so busy um, since the morning so really excited gonna go grab uh, some just farm girl with the team and it's gonna be an amazing day.